How many gongs are there? Well, let's count them. Um, uh, there is, uh, well, there's gong. There's like central gong. There's like the mythological classic gong, the original gong, which which has been going all the way through. And in a way, that's that's in the middle of a big circle. And then around that, there's all these other bands. Okay, so there's mother gong, there's planet gong, there's gong maison, there's New York gong, there's a Pierre Merlin's gong. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Any other gongs? Yeah, it's been 32 years, so it's hard to remember. There's the University of Errors, there's the Invisible Opera Company of Tibet, uh, and this is the Magic Brothers. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've probably forgotten enough to make it reasonable, but, you know, that's it. How many were gongs were there there? Six, seven? What really hit me was when I was seven, I saw a bunch of Irish Australian gypsies hit town at seven o'clock in the evening in a, in a sort of cloud of dust, leapt out of this old van and started playing the most fantastic music I've ever heard. And there was a family of about 16 and even the three and the four year olds were doing little things. And I thought that's what I want to do, no doubt about it. And I, I had a little plastic ukulele, which is from Woolworths, you know, which is about the only thing I could get at that time and I made it work. The most celebrated part, it seems, is the glissando playing, which, is, which was originally used with a, a gynecological surgical instrument, the handle of. And uh, it seemed to me to be a much more worthy use, you know, to, to bring it into play upon the guitar than to actually uh, disengorge the most uh, delightful and velvety parts of, of the feminine anatomy, which, of course, we all celebrate and enjoy. Uh, so uh, saving this particular instrument from that dread destiny was a, a fantastic thing to do. The way that the Grateful Dead was able to run concerts without putting any posters up, without, you know, just simply by the fact that they had their followers gone, I really appreciate that that's what they did, although I loathe the Grateful Dead music. I can't stand it. I think it's, I hate country rock. I mean, oh. But I really, really admire what they've done manage, management-wise and organisationally-wise. And, and certainly... Um, the web has helped us to literally be able to put on concerts without advertising. This is an enormous advantage because the gong uh, audience is very, very widespread. It takes a small percentage from a lot of different types of people. A lot of art people, uh, art st student type people are into it. At the same time, you've got the anoraks are well into it as well. There's, from every walk of life, housewives, uh, I don't know, porno experts, uh, car salesmen, uh, you name it, they're all over there, but there's only a, a, a sort of a smallish number from each. So in order to have that reach, the only thing that has that reach indiscriminately and right across the board, of course, is the internet.